I'm going to do a little bit of a longer video today answering some of the questions that maybe were left unanswered when I only have a minute to do a video. Um, so I'm going to do one just like I did a few days ago that kind of answers all those questions. And um, like then, if there are any questions that you have or topics that you'd like um, me to address, on the side from this 30-day journey. I'm happy to do that and make videos for you. Um, so the first thing um, that I wrote down was, why did I initially only tell one couple? Well, I mentioned that um, we had these doctors that flew in that I had worked with for a couple years doing a clinic out in the barrio. Um, and so, there was doctors from all over the US, just different people would show up different months, whoever was available, they'd fly down and do these clinics. And um, there was a couple that I was friends with that would always go with me to do those clinics. So they were the people that I told. And part of it was because she used to be a nurse. So, um, it made sense for me to tell her when I really didn't want to put it out there publicly. Um, and then it ended up the synchronicity about this. So clinics on Saturday, every Sunday morning, we would all go to breakfast on the beach before the doctors flew out. So one of the guys said, Hey, bring your, bring your films, your mammogram, you know, the big things. And, um, and I'll take a look at them. So I brought them to breakfast. He took a look at them. And then he said, um, you know, this isn't my specialty. I can't really read it for sure. But I think from what I see here, um, you should talk to someone and think about going to the States. And he said, I have this doctor that I used to work with. And um, he told me all about him and gave me his contact information. And it just ended up that, um, when was this? This was, um, let's see what the date was. That was on May 16th, on April 23rd or 26th, I had booked a vacation um, to a place that I don't normally go when I go to the mountains. And at the time I thought, well, this is weird. How come I'm choosing to go here instead of our usual spot? But I booked it. And so when he told me that, that this doctor that he thought was the very best possible person I could go and see was right outside this resort area I was going to, I thought, huh. Now I know why I booked that because the universe was preparing me for the fact that all of this was, was coming. So I already had it set. So that's where my 30 days came in because when I heard about this, I've, I thought, okay, I'm, I'm going on this vacation in June and then getting a doctor's appointment, everything, whenever that can happen, um, it's probably going to be more or less 30 days. So I gave myself a 30 day goal. So that was how that whole thing started. And it was just very synchronistic to the whole thing that he showed up that month, that he had worked with this doctor, the doctor happened to be where I was going on vacation. The doctor was just coming back from uh, lecturing in Europe uh, right before I needed to see him, so that all worked out perfectly. Like I said, more synchronicity about all this. Um, so the other thing, why no lumpectomy? Um, the interesting thing is that the year that I had that diagnosis, before that, probably in the last nine to 12 months, I had known three other women who lived here in Cabo that had been diagnosed. And they had um, all decided to um, go to the mainland and um, have the breast just taken. And even then I thought, okay, 
I, I don't think I'd choose that if, if it was my choice, but that's my, my background, my beliefs, my expectations grounded in, in my, uh, spiritual study, my mind body connection study, my health and nutrition studies, all of that combined to make me who I am to make the choices that I make. And I'm not saying that the choices I've made are good for anybody else. They were good for me. And there may be several pieces or one piece of what I've done that you can pick and choose and go, oh, I would do that. I would never do that. She's out of her mind doing this. Oh, that's genius. So you do you. I'm just sharing my experience. I am not a doctor. I have no medical training. The one thing I do not study, have not studied ever, is conventional treatments. So I can't speak to that at all. I can only tell you what I did. So when I heard all the particulars of what a lumpectomy showed up as 25 years ago, um, it was not something that I wanted to participate in. It wasn't um, anything that I wanted to do to my body. I really felt right from day one as I was walking out of that mammogram that this was more about the message, more about a transformation in my life that this was the way I needed to receive that message than it was a death sentence. And so I felt like I had options. And because that was my belief and I set those expectations, then I proceeded down a different road of diet changes, supplements, um, changing different parts of, of my lifestyle. And the one thing, Gloria, my iridologist, when I told you I went to see her, the one thing I said is, listen, I don't know how this is all going to play out. If, if it goes the way I want it to go, then I want to do everything I can to support my own healing. If I get up to the States and see the doctor and it's not gone in my 30 day plan, like I decided it would be, um, and I do in fact have to choose to have some level of surgery or treatment, I want my body in the best place for not only going through that surgery, but being in the best condition to promote fast and easy healing afterwards. So we got together and we created a plan for my particular situation to prepare me for that. And I'm very happy that I did that. I also did a whole bunch of other stuff um, that we'll put under the lifestyle thing. Basically, anything that anybody came to me with that was non-invasive, that couldn't possibly harm me in any way, if it didn't work, no harm, no foul, um, why say no? So um, I participated in, in a lot of things, and when you do something like that, you never know which one thing or which 21 things came together for your particular healing. So um, I think that's it for wrapping up all the things that were left open so far this week. I will see you tomorrow back in the shorts.